Welcome to Retro Skill Modeling. This is part 5 out of Revels USS United States, scale 1 to 96. In part 5, I'm going to be placing on the cannons on the main deck, and um, th th this will take a bit of a while to do, so I don't know how big this video will be. And also, uh, with luck, I hope to get into the the lifeboat, so I'll just basically make a start on them, hopefully. So let's get into the build. So the first cannon I'm putting on is one of the main cannons. Now I managed to lose a cannon barrel. Um, I don't know where it is, I've been trying to find it, but I've, I believe the carpet mo monster may have munched it. So I've taken one from the gun ports and I'm going to use that. And I may scratch build another one or close the gun port. Uh, I'll see how I feel about it as the build goes on. But um, for this cannon, I'm using the thread puller uh, with the rock. Uh, to uh, pull the rope through the little plates I put in the previous videos. Now, on the instructions it says um, do this for each side and tie off on each side separately. But I had a look at it and it was just easier to thread it through um, as one unit. So I'm placing the rope behind the cannon and um, then onto the um, plate. The reason for, the, for this is it's such a small uh, area to tie a knot into. Um, it was just easier just to tie in one knot at the end. Because it has, the rope has to pull through four cleats. Two on the deck and two on the cannon itself. There's onto the main uh, cannons on the deck and there's uh, 22 in total to put on. Um, first batch of six, then uh, two rows of 16. So I'm... Um, I'm putting on the cleats here, as you can see, onto the rope, like the last time, as I just explained. And um, I'm using the same process, um, like the lower deck. The only slight difference here is, uh, again, like the main cannon, the, um, the instruction is asking you to tie it off each cannon. Um, to save time and um, make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to carry on the, the rope right all the way through. Um, so you, you'll have a little bit of rope on the white part of the bulkhead or the side wall. And um, that's the only real difference. If you're going for 100% accurate, then obviously don't do this, but it just made it easier uh, to do. I did make a small mistake here though, however. The uh, cannon I've just placed it in here is actually in the wrong position. Um, I, I done the whole bank of three on this side and I realised I'd done them too far up so I had to take them off and uh, replace them. Um, it, it was um, no drama really because the glue hadn't set up properly. Uh, I did rush this part a little bit and this is why I made the mistake. So remember rushing doesn't really help because you can uh, bugger your build up which I almost did so the three that I put in was th uh, on the uh, first three gun ports there but they actually start off at the smaller pillar uh, at the midship there so this is the last one going in and um, th that one should have been down to the other section so I've done one row and um, just finishing up that row on the stern of the cannons. If you look slightly to the left you'll see that I've already moved the um, bow cannons um, into the proper position. So coming to the end of the next row now that I'm doing, I've moved the camera slightly so you can see um, where I'm putting in the ringlets or plates. And um, as I said it's exactly the same as um, the um, lower decks that I've done you can just about make out the rope that is in between the cannons so it doesn't make that much of a difference um, when, when looking at the model uh, doing it this way instead of tying each one off individually and the last thing to put in is these uh, little pins yeah, these uh, hold up the the, the ropes for the rigging and rat lines for tying off. The, there's a four to put on. But look at the instructions though because um, they all illustrate four of them going on. They don't show you the opposite side. 
So now it's uh, on to closing up the stern here. Um, finally getting to do that before I go on to putting in the rails on the sides. The side walls here are nice uh, simple fit. They, there's a little lip so it just uh, sits on the edge and um, all you have to do is marry up the gun portholes and uh, put the back or onto the, the frame itself and the same process with the other side. Now you may have noticed that some of the gun port uh, covers uh, are loose. Uh, I have knocked a couple off but that's going to be an easy fix down the line so I'm just going to leave them hanging and if any do come off. I generally don't put these on until the end anyway but because they're having the rope on them I had no choice but to uh, place them on when I did. But it's an easy fix down the line as I say. So on to the painting of the um, deck plate and uh, sidewall. So first of all the um, and I'm painting this in Rebel Alcohol colour 05 white. For the door it's uh, Mr. Hobby 37 wood brown. And for the door frame it's Rebel Alcohol colour 382 wood brown. So two different tones of uh, wood brown here uh, to give a contrast. Now onto the deck it's 88 oak red brown, uh, Rebel Alcohol colour uh, for the base coat. And then it's Life Colour LWP 19 wooden deck shadow. And um, light like the main decks, it uh, just gives it the winning effect. Before I put the decks on, it was time to put on the side uh, windows. These just click on onto the um, top railings here and butt against the um, top of the bottom windows. They went in quite easily. And then it was the two gun port covers. So for the deck, it just slots in uh, below the railings. There is a little uh, location pins for you to, for it to rest on. I bet it's surprisingly easy. The front face though I had to sand down quite a bit. Um, it was slightly too too tall for it to, to fit underneath the deck. Um, the instructions say uh, place this on uh, before you um, put the deck on but the deck had raised above its line so um, I took that back off and I had to file it down took a little while to, to get it down but I, I did in the end. Um, it was difficult to get a good camera angle here to show you how it fitted it but you can just about see it going in. But once it was in place it did look the part. There's a couple of little ringlets uh, you have to put on onto the deck and um, th there's many of these that you have to put on throughout the, 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 the model. And then for the front section, th this fitted really well, uh, it's just a matter of sliding it in. Make sure that you have the opening, uh, the, quite rare, the correct way around, so the, the gap goes to the top. So once uh, I get my hands out the way, you'll be able to see. And that's it in place there. Now it's time to fit the little steps that go into it. Uh, it's just a little bit of glue goes on, and then it just uh, latches onto the side there. So now it's on to the um, lifeboats. So first of all, I'm painting the bottom of these with Revo Alcolor 05 white. Um, there's about five or six uh, boats that you have to paint. And you'll probably have to give it a couple of coats as well. For the inside, it's Revo Aquacolor 381 brown silk. For the framework, it's 382 wood brown. And um, it's just the, the one solid color all over. I'm using Mr. Hobby 37 wood brown and this is for the oars. And back to the framework it's life colour LP19 wood deck shadow to give it wood effect like the deck. And back to the oars it's life colour LPW18 wood deck darkener. So I'm what I'm using it doing here, I've got my stipple brush and putting a little bit of paint on the brush, wiping the excess off on a bit of tissue, then going over it. This is to give it a dark grainy effect. It's a simple construction for the um, life box. First of all, I put the oars on and then put the framework on top of the actual boat itself. And then to finish them off, there's uh, two little cleats that go on each end. So it's one on each end, they just pop in. And that's the same process for all the uh, life boats. 
Now you may remember me saying that I lost one of the cannons. So there's a cannon there and I'm going to try and uh, make one. So I've cut off a, a bit of sprue and I'm using my hobby knife just to mark the center so I have a little starting point. Then I take my pin drill and uh, then gently just um, start making a hole inside this, this, the center of the bit of sprue. You don't have to go that deep but um, I decided to do it um, as deep as the drill bit. Then I took a bigger drill bit um, and increased the size of the hole. And once that's done, I took my hobby knife and um, just um, rotated around the hole to, to make it slightly larger. If you do this, make sure you, that you don't um, do it too much, that you encroach on the side. And once I was happy with that, uh, I took it, I measured uh, about half a point and uh, used my hobby knife again to mark um, two areas on the side. Then took my pin drive, drill and drilled a hole straight through on the edge. Just be careful when you're doing this and um, you don't want to stab your fingers with the drill bit. If you do have a, a, a bench vice it might be wise to use that instead of just holding the piece. So again uh, like the uh, opening of the barrel I used a, a bigger drill bit just to go right through. I then took a cocktail stick and shaved it down to a diameter of the hole that I made for the side and a little bit of super glue on the cocktail stick and then I pushed the cocktail stick through the the hole and then just snipped off the, uh, the excess from the main part of the cocktail stick so uh, effectively you should have the two prongs like on the actual cannon itself I then took some uh, masking tape and um, I wrapped it around the base of the cannon um, Sorry it's off camera but I had to get up close for this. I then melt with some sprue and stretch it as you can see that. This I wrapped around the barrel to give it some um, lip effect and um, so there's a couple of bit areas I've done this to. One is at the front uh, top part of the cannon and then the mid section and just snipped off any excess and just use normal cement for this as well and this gives you a close approximation of a cannon and then I painted in Revol Aquacolor 302 silk black now it's not going to look exactly like the uh, cannon that came with the kit but in actual fact you're only going to see the front part of the barrel the rest of it is going to be inside the ship so um, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the front part right well this is going to bring part 5 to a close um, I ideally would have liked to have got the lifeboats on because of the, I had to deal with this cannon uh, I ran out of time. So if you haven't done so already why don't you check out my other videos and um, indeed the other parts to this build. I'm sure there's something there for everyone to watch. You can also subscribe to the channel uh, for any upcoming updates or uh, indeed um, the updates for this build itself. Hit the like button and uh, leave a comment if you wish. But for now Thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.